It's all vibes. I hope it's all vibes. I'd be sad if it wasn't. I'm so not over it. I don't... Hmm. <laughs> Good morning. I'm vibing too. I didn't sleep. I woke up at 9 p.m. yesterday. Uh, we've got coffee on the way. Uh, I hope everyone's having a COVID-free Friday. It is Friday. I thought yesterday was Friday. It was not. Today's Friday. You're going to watch me grind some beans. That's fantastic. Yeah, I this is... I don't know. I used coffee to get through the night, so... I think it, I would count this as my second cup of Friday. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Sorry. Many cats around. Um, cool. You're going to watch me grind. <laughs> yeah, we crank, we crank here. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, this is going to be a low brain power stream, I'm sure. Assembling still. Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, this is like saying another streamer's name in the chat. It's okay. I'm not the jealous type. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, it's a vintage sweatshirt I got from a thrift store of uh, the San Diego Zoo, actually. I just realized that. This is an Arby special. Uh, these are little koalas. Um, it's an extremely well-made sweater. Uh, um, <laughs> I wonder if you can hear that. My, ca my cats are being ruffians. Um, but, uh, yeah, they don't make them like this anymore. That's, that's my opinion because no sweater has ever fit me as well and lasted as long as this fantastic garment. I wish I had like 10 of these of different animals and colors and that's like all I would wear, I think. Uh, we are assembling coffee right in front of your very eyes. I wonder where my chat is. I wonder if the proximity to the holidays has anything to do with our viewership. Something that's just constantly a mystery to me. Not that it matters too much. I'm happy to have who I have. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I have enough fun doing this that... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do it as much for me as for them i already have the chat of dreams my that's the thing is my goals are not far off from what we already have um it's important to have a growth mindset i learned that in entrepreneur school i didn't go to entrepreneur school um okay we are ready more or less we're still pouring coffee <laughs> I don't have a mind for business. I I do a really bad job of budgeting. 
and just like organi- organizing in general, but like also with budgeting. Couldn't understand Tenet, and I watched Tenet last night, and I was like, am I too dumb for this movie? Um, yeah, yeah. I think I have some, I, I disrupt, I don't know. <laughs> I'm disruptive. Uh, what do we need to do to do this? I, uh, there we go. Psst, okay. We're going to get there. Look at that. Uh, a lot of, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Cable 2 is the, uh, I don't know, name a disruptor. Who's a famous disruptor? Uh, Isaac Newton. Uh, <laughs> Copernicus. <laughs> okay. Um, how, where do we start? I'm going to do some reviewing. I guess we could do this. We need to, we have so much to edit that maybe this could be an editing stream. Um, hey, Greg. Did you get it? Did you get your test? Are you done? That was fast. Was it the nose one? Are you getting nosed? Maybe you can't hear me because you're on your phone. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Are you doing that to join your family? That's what I would guess. I almost did that, but I stayed put. I'm trying to... I'm My strategy here is to look at this image long enough, and hopefully I will gain some knowledge about it like i will just i will <laughs> unlock the thing that's that, ma- that makes me think that it's uh aligned wrong or something i don't know what my actual problem with it is yeah i feel that yeah yeah that's great Yeah, I wish my family would take it. I mean, my family's taking it pretty seriously. I'm happy to see that they are. Because um, they're the kind of people that maybe they wouldn't, you know? <laughs> and so it's it's good to learn that they care about it. Um, okay. Gregory had a good stream last night. I had a lot of fun watching Gregory's stream. Gregory made some, some golf items in uh, a 3D imaging program. It's fun, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, you should uh, check it out. Okay. I don't know. I should have, like, a notepad for this and write down the notes that I have as I go because I've completely forgotten them. I think it has to do also with my mental state after staying up all night. Um, I don't know. Let's zoom all the way out. We know we need some more layers. I already see one. Okay, watch this. What we're going to do is we are going to... How does this look for you? Does it look okay? And yeah, it looks pretty okay. What's up, Sheeta? Are you still sick? Some, uh, yeah. Not to dox Sheeta, but Sheeta was sick the past couple days. It's no good. Don't use that information to somehow find out where she lives. Um, <laughs> it is women. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm glad you're not sick, but unfortunately that means you have to go to work. Yeah. You know what we do on this show? We dox women. That's what we do. Coffee dox women. Um. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Okay, I uh, already forgot what I was trying to do. Okay, I'm going to insert a layer. We're just going to take it at face value for now and hope that it evens out. Los. I liked Los. L-O-E-S-S. We're trying to get all these guys underneath this line right here. 
Ugh, this is brutal. Okay. Um, you're watching me struggle with Photoshop. That was probably super loud. Oh, you can't hear that. Never mind. Okay, that didn't work. You don't even know what I'm mumbling about. Um, I have doxed myself so many times um, just on this show. Like, every time I open Google Maps, it opens up right above my apartment. Um, so, uh, we have to get this even further under this line, actually. Yeah, yeah. It would so not be hard. But that's the other thing is, like, if anyone wanted that information, I don't think my like my opsec is so bad that uh it almost doesn't matter like i'm that easy of a target i was thinking about this when i was watching tenet um <laughs> yeah i wish um that'd be great wow uh but uh anyway i was watching tenet last night and there's a bunch of people in the movie who are regular people, you know, they're not like every character with a name is a, like a spy, like a really talented, very smart, very muscular spy. And then they live in the world of normal people. And in any time they have to like drive a car or get into a building, there's like a normal person in the way doing a job, you know, like there's a scene in the airport and like, there's all this airport staff that are just like a problem because they're there. And like, they just constantly have to like snap their necks and stuff. And like watching this movie, I'm like, I'm the guy getting uh, his neck snapped, you know? Um, it's just like, I, they're just pushovers. They, they can't even pretend to put up a fight. And that's how I feel uh, <laughs> in my life, I guess. Um, just generally weak and uh, helpless and like sleepy and at work and just like over it. And then, I don't know, someone with a meaningful life comes and snaps my neck. <laughs> I forgot why I was telling that story, but uh, okay. But I feel powerful during coffee.sip. Why was I telling that story? Um, oh yeah, if you wanted to dox me, I think it would take like 30 seconds. Um, I did, I did finish a movie. It's weird that I finished it and also stayed up. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I have so few thoughts about Tenet. <laughs> um, yeah, we should have a movie, movie review show. We could review movies while we play movie video games. That's some. That's one idea that we had. I swear to God, I'm like not centered or something. Why doesn't it care? I'm moving it and nothing's happening. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna roll with it. Um, do it live. <laughs> Ao. Bam, bam, bam. Um. <laughs> Everybody name a movie you like. I'll talk about a movie you like if you want. Um, I guess I liked it. I don't know. I kept thinking that, like, I had this thought that, like, if if you live in a society that makes Tenet specifically, it's, like, a symptom of a very sick society. <laughs> like, like, if you, like, you can point to when a society made Tenet and be like, all right, no, we, we know it was bad because they made Tenet. Um, I need to see the Naked Lunch movie because I'm a huge Cronenberg fan. I'm a Cronenberg head because I'm weird. I'm, I'm twisted. Yes, I didn't finish A Serious Man. Um, ah, oh, damn. Maybe I can try. Um, but yeah, I I historically don't finish movies because I'm insane. And uh, halfway through A Serious Man, I was like, I'm going to turn this off. Uh, I really liked what I saw. No, I fell asleep. I would finish A Serious Man if I was awake. Um, but there are movies as good as A Serious Man that I've turned off just to stop watching them. So just to let the record show. I'm twisted. I'm a loose cannon. Okay. We're gonna make. We're gonna finally make the change. We're going to move the. We're gonna add a new layer. How are we gonna do this? 
like my vision is just right here for now. We're going to implant a layer about there. And we're going to make a new layer. We're going to fill it with a new color like that. And then we're going to merge it down. I know all the hotkeys, so I did that and you didn't even see me do it. Um, this is my power. I'm I'm the guy from Tenet, but I'm in Photoshop. And I'm like rolling around. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really smart and sexual. And uh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I know that I, yeah. Did you remember a lot of it? I feel like I remember a lot from movies whenever I pick them back up. I really wish I was in my shot. I don't understand why I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I would say uh Draza is like a, a like like if Tenet was like more sexual. Um yeah. All oh, the jokes in Tenet were really bad. Uh there's some times where they have banter and it's like it's like Marvel movie banter and I was really surprised to see that. Um I'm checking my head for bald spots. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> they say stuff like that, though. Um. I, I don't want to spoil. T- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. No, I'm feeling really good about my hair. I, I mean, growing or I had like a a very prolonged like closet phase where I was really worried that I was losing my hair and I kind of was I mean I was get, gaining my like adult testosterone hair hair pattern um yeah I'm the same way cursed I I think a haircut would be useful for me I haven't gotten it cut in over a year and I was trying to get length but uh yeah no I completely agree Maiko I, I haven't finished a thought in like five thoughts but like yeah uh yeah, he's like labeled as a cool guy and he's like I don't know. There's a specific kind of he's a watch guy maybe. I don't know how else to describe it. Like he's like a really expensive watch guy to me. Um Yeah, I was going to say there's no mystery to Tenet whatsoever. Like you know like you don't know what's happening really. Uh of course like there's there's twists and stuff but in terms of like the logic of the movie there's not what's what's going to surprise you about it i don't know there's no emotional mystery to the movie um i i'm not the one to talk about this i'm sorry that we're talking movies we're talking movies on coffee.sip the silver screen um cinema Yeah, there's so much about that movie that I really didn't like. I'm noticing. <laughs> Just zoning out, thinking about parts of the movie I didn't like. Um, so we have a middle tier now, which is cool, going back to the thing that we're doing. Um, maybe we should have left. The th- I moved all these things around. Maybe they should have just stayed there because uh, now I don't know what to put here. Um I don't know what that is. Like, what do you mean? I mean, we're, we have some movie ideas. We want to read scripts. I think we should read scripts all the time. I think we should, like, find a way to, like, find a way to just keep, like, n- I don't know. I think we'd be great at that. I think we could just do that a lot. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's 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 a different color. of it, To me, it's like water. Like, maybe it's a... Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You're showing off your knowledge. The audience has become the streamer. It seems like the audience has become the streamer. You could say that the audience has become the streamer. Uh... There was a trend a while ago where YouTube sketch people would do a full length thing chock full of cameo. That sounds intense. Um, congratulations, Cursed Synth. Yeah, there should have been like, yeah, some kind of competition to 
to watch Tenet the best. I feel like that's what all those people want. Um, like at the end of the movie, it says, go to reddit.com slash r slash Tenet and, and take the quiz on what happened in Tenet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Yeah, I loved The Irishman. I cried at The Irishman. I feel like we've talked about this, but uh, yeah, yeah. The Irishman's great. I did not think it was too long. It's a really long movie. I thought Tenet was a little too long. <laughs> That's cool. That's fair. That happens to me too sometimes where like, sometimes when I'm crying at media, it's like almost disconnected from the media. I don't know. Like sometimes I'm crying because something like a movie is sad, but then sometimes I'm like, I don't know, watching forensic files and I'm like, shit, I'm thinking I'm sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Scorsese's got lessons to teach you. My friend Martin. Nice. I cried. Speaking of YouTube, not to brag. I don't, I don't want to do like the bragging about crying thing, but, um, there's a video of, um, Coheed and Cambria playing live. It's a re it's a reaction video of a singer, like a vocal teacher, someone who's really good at singing, watching a live video of Coheed and Cambria. And she's she's she doesn't she's not cool. She doesn't know what Coheed and Cambria is, but just like from her perspective as a singer, she's like she just had a lot to say. I don't know why, but I kinda cried at it. I don't know what it was. I was just like, damn, I guess I'm going to cry now. Um, I I don't want to sound like a Coheed head. Uh, I'm not. Um, <laughs> but I just thought that was funny. Okay. 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 It seems like the audience has become the streamer. So we are going to populate this uh, this middle zone. All right, yeah, here, here. What we're, I think a way to do this, I think there's probably some up top and down low that have gotten a bad rap uh, that definitely could be moved from Nolan to Coheed. Um, so we're going to go to the bottom and we're just going to reevaluate. We're just going to start reevaluating. I don't really know how else to do this. Uh, okay, the ones we can write off immediately, right? The ones that we have just completely written off defile seems like it doesn't even belong on the list uh dale probably got a bad rap um but dell draw glenn interfluve i don't really remember what interfluve was but it seems like we put it down here for good reason um gully these are all just like ditches and divots in the land um <laughs> yeah well, I don't know though, because they're like they kind of do the same thing. Like they're kind of <laughs> they kind of go hand in hand. Um, Graven and Horst are all the way down here, and I think they probably. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! No, I routinely get in trouble for liking Inception. Um, where people will be like, I don't, I don't remember the exact context but i remember me and one of my friends being like hey let's watch inception kind of recently and like the other people in the group were like appalled um i don't know <laughs> the batman movies i think it, it's totally fine to watch the batman movies if you think Heath, Heath ledger's joker isn't like a hugely formative character for the 2010s and 2020s i I don't know what to tell you. Um, it looks like I'm going behind Photoshop, but that's really just where my webcam ends. That's movie magic. How do you like this, Christopher Nolan? Is this special effects? What's happening here? It's called layering. It's when one reality moves behind another. Uh, what are the other Nolan movies? Memento. I really loved Memento growing up. Uh, it was very like, I'm 14 and this is epic. Um, but maybe it's still good. I don't know. The Polaroid where he's like bloodthirsty and happy and he doesn't remember it. That's so good. Um, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm jazzed about all of that. I still think he's a dork. I wonder what kind of car he drives. 
Sheeta, what kind of what kind of car does Christopher Nolan drive? Let's get our get our uh, our car head up in here. Um. <laughs> I think if anyone can figure this out just by pure psychic energy, it's gonna be Sheeta. Um, like literally, if anyone in the world, uh, I think Sheeta's like acutely equipped to to suss this out. So you think Raven and Horse should be higher? I'm going to take your word for it. It is cool. There's some drama in pizzazz. Yeah, I mean, that sounds sounds pretty apt to me. Like, I think it's probably expensive. Uh, it probably looks expensive. I don't know. At one point in uh, Tenet, they're making a plan, and uh, the main guy goes, we need a fast car that doesn't look fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like he would not have fun. He would not buy a car that looks fun. Do you think they go all the way up here in the new section? For some reason, I think his hairdo is like a uh, a, a a window into into his car sensibilities. Like, what kind of car do you see that hair flying around in? Yeah, yeah. See that? Do you think it's spacious? Do you think it's big? Do you think it's performance? Do you think it revs? <laughs> <laughs> what if that was his car? <laughs> he would be so cool if he made the Batmobile and just, he made the the Batman movies and just drove the Batmobile for the rest of his life. That'd be the coolest thing he's ever done. My coffee is fantastic. I hope your coffee's good. <laughs> okay. I saw that clip. I think because you showed it to me. But, um... Yeah, all of those people reminded me of my parents because they were like young adult age around that time. Um, they got married that year, I think, 1989. Okay, I'm getting back to Photoshop. Tell me about, I think a bench belongs down here. I think a bench is kind of cool. I think a bench is like secretly cool. <laughs> Did you know that tenant is spelled backwards the same way it's spelled forwards? The protagonist of tenant of ten tenant is just named the protagonist. I think if you do that, I think by default the main character of your movie is just called the title of your movie. Like it should automatically rename him to tenant. Uh, if if you punt on the name of your character, it's named the movie. That's what I say. <laughs> oh, sick. See, that's that's a great question, Michael. And Tenet honestly felt a little a little bit marvely to me, as I as I already said. I could totally see Tenet show the guy, Tenet the man, showing up in Infinity War and helping out Captain America. They could do little quips together. Um Villain. Yeah, I like that. No, the bad guy had a name. Yeah. The bad I don't remember it. Um, what was the bad guy's name? I don't know. <laughs> That's not the kind of information that sticks in my brain. Uh, it could, but I like. I think I don't care on a level where I have like 
routinely deprioritized it to where it doesn't I, I don't remember stuff like that on purpose um okay i'm gonna cut one-to-one -one thoughts that are not about landforms with thoughts that are about landforms um a kalank is really cool or maybe a kalank maybe it's called a kalank i think it's french so i think it's probably kalank kalank clonk um, let's look at it. I'm going to go back to the page and I think we will figure out where it, uh, where it goes. It's not snowing here. It's sunny here. I, uh, I winterized my stream, but it's really not wintery. This is the warmest winter I've had so far here in, uh, in location where I am. <laughs> that's uh you should submit that to i don't know is there like a, a did you know movies like a movie trivia twitter maybe you should make your own i don't know maybe you can do movie trivia for our movie stream that'd be kind of good uh we're looking for a kalonk kalonk yeah, a narrow, steep-walled inlet on the Mediterranean coast. I think these are cool. I think we should put them next to all the other coastal stuff. Yeah, I mean, this stuff's rad. This is this looks like it would be in a Christopher Nolan movie. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's a better picture. We're going to take this picture and we're going to upgrade it. We're going to put it next to bays and stuff. Yeah, I also like the name. Yeah, we we got we got to move it up. You can't even see this arm. I'm doing crazy stuff with my other arm over here. Um <laughs> French is a language that does not happen in my brain. I can like painfully stammer through some Spanish uh, and I feel like I understand Spanish really well, um, but uh, no French. I can't pronounce it. I can't read it. I, I don't know. I took a semester of it in college and it, it did not enter my brain anymore. I might have learned less French somehow. Uh, okay. We are finding the Kalonk. Yeah, way down here. I wonder what we did. What I wonder what happened for us to just lambast it when we did. But that's fine. No matter. How high should it go? Oh, well, we can find the other the other similar landforms. How do y'all feel about that? Like with uh like putting the coastal landforms next to each other, putting the glacier ones, like if they're approximately the same coolness, um, like we've got like up here, we've got bay, coast, cove, beach, uh, cape. They're all kind of similar. Uh, so I've been putting them to together, but maybe they're not all equally cool. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's fun. Yeah. Um, but I think maybe there should be some way to rank them against each other. But we'll see. We'll see. We've got a long way to go, apparently. I think it's a helpful organizational tool for, like, I don't know. Like, when we have the glacier stuff, we can be like, well, if this is, if the other glacier stuff is worthy of going up here, like, is this new glacier thing worthy of going next to it? I think it's some kind of organizational tool. Uh I, I think everybody guesses how long it's going to take me to do this. Do you think I will never finish? Do you think I'll finish in January, February, or March? Okay, I like that. And, uh, mm, that's really sick. You draw them all together. That'd be doable, I think, somewhat. Um Hmm. I really want to do that. 
<laughs> I wonder how to do it. Okay, a toll's coming down. I think a toll is not any cooler than a Kalong. I think it's roughly as cool. It's just a it's just a fancy bay. It's an island and a bay at the same time. If anything, it's like slightly cooler. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna do this forever. Um, this is this specific uh, project. Uh, like, this is maybe the twentieth time I've done a landform stream. No, maybe not. Like twelfth landform stream, something like that. And we're like a, th a third of the way done. We're we're like halfway done with the list, but there's just so much work to be done on the actual image. Uh, I mean, I think it's gonna take six weeks, something like that, to finish the rest of it. Um, so if we do all of that and then draw it, it would be infinite time. Uh, but it still would be cool. And I have nothing else to do during coffee.sip, so maybe. We just talk, like we're just talking. <laughs> We were talking Nolan earlier. Um, <clears throat> I'm checking my Twitter. You can't see what I'm doing. Uh, oh, what's this line? What did I do? There we go. Okay. You know what? We're going to make a letterbox. <laughs> I like that, Curtis. <laughs> Stream elements is like how they put acetaminophen in cough syrup or whatever to fuck up your organs if you abuse it. I'd feel too good if I was here and stream elements didn't deal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It keeps you honest, you know? Man, I've only ever done codeine once. I had codeine from a friend who had pneumonia, and she was like, we should drink this. And we did. <laughs> and it was great. Um, yeah, yeah can't be feeling too good too often it just wouldn't be fair yeah yeah i really yeah <laughs> the first time i did xanax i was like i can't have this around because i would do it all the time it's just you do it and you feel better you know <laughs> uh i'm not like that anymore but at the time i was like this is kind of sad like <laughs> Like, I feel good. It was the drugs. Okay. I feel like a lagoon is cooler than a beach. Like, categorically. So, I'm going to pull it up. We all thought a delta was really cool. Oh, this is the top top, though. We are now... Do you think... Okay, we have some decisions to make because we have things like, yeah, okay. I think we're making a little rule, uh, just a little rule that um, so the drainage basin, the endoric basin, the lagoon, they're all like somewhat, somehow more complex, I guess than a beach or a cove or a bay. So they're like the, what's the word? Ascended water forms can go in the top layer. Whereas the standard cool water forms uh, are second tier. Does that make sense? Like I think there are some water forms that are cooler by virtue of how they're formed, I guess. A geo is the same as a Kalank. And so that is interesting to think about uh they're both thin inlets uh
so I don't know. Gulfs are cool. I don't know how much cooler they are than a bay. They're kind of the same thing. It's just a big bay. I think their enormity might be why they're cool. I don't know. How do you feel about a gulf compared to a bay or a cove? It's a hard question. I don't, I don't have an answer to it. I'm going to bring a beach down. I think I'm deciding that the familiarity of the beach is uh, points against it. I think it suffers from the same problem a canyon and a gorge has where they're just, you've seen them so much. I don't know. And maybe that's not fair. It's hard to say. It's just hard to say. Okay. I've got a head of steam going with uh, rearranging things, though. So I'm just going to do this for as much of the stream as I can. But there have to be losers. There just have to be losers. <laughs> I appreciate that, Sheeta. You're the voice of reason on this uh, in this... Uh, Baseball, baseball club. I know. Yeah, that's that's the thing. A canyon might be the best landform. Like, literally, it's a world wonder. I'd love to see a canyon. Okay. Maybe I will. Uh, so, should it go higher? What would you do? What would you do if you were me? Oh, I can add you as a friend from the... I just sent you a friend request. That's hilarious. Inside my stream software, I can whisper at you. That's crazy. Friends. Greg is online, sent me a friend request on uh, posting.cool last night and sent me a message. I'm going to, I, I want to read it because it's funny, um, but it's going to embarrass him, so I'm not going to do it. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah. No. Okay, cool. I was wondering if I was able to turn it off. Oh, you got it from us? It says that you're friends with Cable, too. Myco. Myco Miami. You have 999 plus messages? What does that mean? Oh, that, that's the number of messages you've sent in chat, maybe? Can I see how many? Yeah, she just sent over 1,000. Curse just sent over 1,000. Strange. Oh, you're making new friends, huh? Okay. Myco starting Cable 3, huh? Starting Cable 3 without me. I get it. All right, get out of here, Sheeta. Hey, you be good. Don't get sick again. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're infiltrating the Derek, Derek stream. Okay. Be good, Sheeta. Everyone out there, I hope you be good. I hope you all have good days. COVID-free days. Uh, okay, I'm going to look back at the thing. Yeah, no, I, I, I respect it. I'm happy anytime any of my friends make a new friend. Really, no, like 100%. I cannot lie. Okay, another subtype to be aware of just for the chat. I, You could say that the chat has become the streamer, but um, there are creators, and that's a, that's a group. Um, and the creators are kind of spread out because we have some creators in the top and in the, s in the second tier. And I think like the eject a blanket, th I, there's just so much sublime. It's hard to rank the sublime against itself because the, so an eject a blanket is the pattern of dust raised by a, uh, impact crater. So it's all this white around this gray. This is on the moon, I think. Um, this is the moon dust sent up and settled. Uh, that's so cool. Like, that's the coolest thing I've ever heard. 
uh, is it as cool as a cliff? <laughs> like, how do you answer that question? <laughs> like, which of these are cooler? How do you even, how do you do that? I'm going to ask Twitter. Taking a screenshot. Yeah, yeah, it's, but I don't, one thing that I think about a lot with the bracket, though, is that the bracket doesn't, uh, it's arbitrary, right? Like, the head-to-head the -head matchups do not represent, like, okay, so Ejecta Blanket could probably beat Cliff in a, uh, in a head-to-head, -head, but they're, it's not one to one that it would also be lava spine or I can't, I don't know how to, I, I'm not good enough at the math to say it, but um, the movie bracket thing that I see on Twitter and similar things, they just drive me insane. And people like actually argue about it. And I'm just like, I, my brain doesn't work like that. So why am I in the business of ranking things? <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe that's the draw. This is like whenever, uh, I don't know. It's a lot like the movie Tenet. But, um, okay. Okay. Let's make something happen. I think a Delta d belongs up here. Sinkhole, everyone went, everyone hooted and hollered for a uh, sinkhole, so. <laughs> just poured coffee all over myself yeah yeah that's what i said i said it's like tenant you're saying what i said <laughs> michael's uh 90s band is called sinkhole Maiko in college made a, a a demo tape of his band Sinkhole, and he won't show it to anybody, but we all know it exists. With his friend, uh, drummer Jake. Yeah, yeah. And 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 bassist, uh, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> island stuff what do you think about island stuff how cool is an island we were saying that island suffered from uh canyon uh problem the canyon problem where you just you know what an island is but does it really suffer from that i mean yeah we all love the bahamas and hawaii uh those great vacation spots um but uh yeah i don't know i feel like they're appropriately ranked i think second tier for island stuff is fine maybe maybe island and islet stay down here and we send up archipelago i could i could see that is archipelago cooler than a, a foiba or a cirque I think, yeah, okay, top of second tier. The coolest island is the top of second tier, and the less cool islands are the bottom of second tier. That sounds good to me. Island and islet are the same. They're not exactly the same, but I think they're the same. This is true. I wasn't, I did not even consider Do we have any Australians uh, in the Orb Cable 2 family? Can't think of any. What other islands are there? Oh, no, we have a problem. We have moved one of the layers. There we go. You're right. Dog was. That's a good point. We ran him off. Excuse me.
<laughs> Why do you know that? <laughs> Why do you know American American regional hockey rivalries? Yeah, he was a good dog. Rest in peace. I'm going to move Abyssal Plane up. The The original joke was to put all the Abyssal stuff at the very bottom. See, that's the other thing. is I think I'm just moving everything up, and we're top-heavy. Do you see this? So how do we solve the problem of top-heaviness? I think we should make layers at the top to spread it, to chunk it down, so that our bottom layer isn't so empty. That's cool. That's really cool. <laughs> I don't I, I I don't care how true that is because that's really cool. Yeah, I wonder if the I I don't even know. I sent that as a test to test the delay, but I don't, it doesn't do anything. I have no idea. <sighs> okay, we're coming up on an hour. I'm trying to think of other things that are pertinent to cable two that maybe I could address with our Friday time. It's kind of like study hall. I don't know. Anything on y'all's mind about cable two, any loose ends, work to be done. Trying to think of things that I want done. I mean, you know, we've got a big list of we've got a big to do list, but None of that's really to be addressed here. Yeah, okay. I'm going to make a little list of stuff to do for the uh, for this image. It's going to be our running uh, to-do list. You can't see it because it's so little. You still can't see it. Great. We're going to zoom in. To top, to push uh, entries down. Or to fill lower space. Uh, mm, regroup or here such as glaciers or glacier crater coast fluvial cave Seems good. We'll just toss that over here. That's what we will do to fix the loadout of this image. Um, but I think we're getting closer conceptually with like an actual logic that makes sense out of these images. It's coming. It's all part of the plan. Okay, okay. I am, yeah, just going to do more housework on this image, and then I'll probably call it pretty soon. I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. I'm, like, brain dead because I stayed up all night. Can't really expect to get any work done I don't know maybe I'll chill be a good day for a walk I guess the sun's out what do you think about a dry canter we've moved th we've moved the humble dry canter around a lot 
I think I think the dry contour is a great centerpiece. I think it would work well as a centerpiece because it's interesting. It's not imposing in any way. It does not have the sublime beauty of a, uh, you know, any of the big ones. Do you rarely think of it in a way that, uh, I mean, it's so small you can just walk right by, you can walk right by it. It does not have any of the traditional elements of a good landform. Maybe it goes, deserves to go at the very bottom. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is it's like, I think with some examination, it's interesting. There's like some geometric beauty to it um, and some, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, yeah. So I kind of want to put it in the exact middle of the image because it kind of mirrors the... Uh, where is the middle? It was just showing me the middle of the image. Dear God. Oh, there we go. We have to select the right layer. Yeah. You have to kind of look for it to see why it's special. I think it's a great spot for it. It didn't belong to be as high up as it was because it's, it's not imposing or particularly interesting. Uh, but I think it's more pleasing holistically. That's why I, that's kind of why I want to put it in the middle. I don't know. I think it, I think it's a good little centerpiece. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. But I don't, it doesn't, it doesn't, does it feel out of place to you in the middle tier? I guess if you feel nothing about it. Um, but for now, I'm going to put it there. <laughs> well, it's it's funny because it's it's a rock. You can just put it anywhere. <laughs> um if it didn't sound good, that'd be okay. If it felt if it if it felt neutral, that'd be okay. Uh because that's kind of a neutral area. Um I think levy has to move up. I think I was taking points away because it was man-made. Uh more or less. They're not all man-made. They're semi-natural. Um but they serve a function and that makes it cool. Okay. That that's definitely reason why I would have to move up. The fact that it serves an important function for biotic life. It's very similar to a barrier island, so it's I think it's a good sign that it's already over here. Glacial foreland. I don't remember what you are, but you're probably gonna be probably gonna move. It's probably similar to an Appalachian Cove in that an Appalachian Cove is uh, like a valley, essentially, uh, and it's very fertile, which the glacial foreland seems to also be fertile. So interesting, pl interesting grasslands is kind of a, a little sub theme that I'm looking for right now. This is like doing a really big puzzle. One time I did a puzzle of some hot rods with my dad. This was like a year ago. And we watched the final season of Seinfeld together, like in a day while we did it. Cute memory. Yeah, I thought there was another one. There's one right over here. It's the Machair. Machair. Okay. That might move up or down this entire group. An inlet, we should move to the, <laughs> move to the coastal group, probably. I don't know why we were low on an inlet, but we were pretty low on it. I mean, kind of goes with these fluvials, maybe. It's kind of the opposite of a headland. They're kind of the same, though. They're brothers. It's like solid snake and liquid snake. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put an atoll next to them for now, uh, because they're all 
traditionally beautiful. They're all pretty. But there's something that leaves me wanting more. A faceted spur is cool. It's like the uh, less striking version of the, what is it called? Flat iron, yeah. The faceted spur is, I'll show you. It's these like uh, offshoots of a mountain range. Like the smaller veins of a mountain range. That's cool, it probably belongs right around here. Probably next to an escarpment, which is also cool. Deserves to go up. And they're kind of similar because they're mountainous. Diatreme probably should go over here. Diatreme is like a lava straw, like a straw shooting out of a pool of lava. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is, is this high up? It's the second tier. We're going to need to make some other tiers up here, I think. That's the, yeah, yeah. Every lava one has blown the lid off of, this, off of the, the audience. Uh, everybody loves that stuff. Okay, what else can I do right now? <laughs> exactly. Oh man, because <laughs> there's some reason for some reason in Tenet, uh, whenever you're moving backwards in time, uh, fire uh, does ice damage to you. Like if you get set on fire, you'll get frostbite. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out why. <laughs> it's really funny to me. Um. Yeah, and like on Lava Planet, a defile is made by by like hippies doing like a hippie march. Yeah, yeah, it's like thermodynamics. Yeah. It it's it's funny because it's like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I was saying uh, to one of my friends while I was watching it that it reminded the the whole movie reminded me of an OK Go music video. It just kind of has that 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 feeling, you know. I re I really was hoping that it would like make me watch the movie backwards, um, but there was no reason to. I mean, maybe watch, maybe go watch the movie backwards. But okay, I'm bringing limestone pavement down. It's one of the best pictures in the uh, image, but and it is cool. But for now, I'm gonna put it here. I've never cracked the code of Boards of Canada. I seem like the type to really like it, but I. I don't know. I've always struck out when trying. I'll add it to my notepad, though. Is it relevant in some way? Is it tenant esque sick that's cool <clears throat> he uh that guy is really smart right he like uh there's like a uh it might have been apex when we did this i think it's boards of canada where there's like a if you do a spectrogram or some kind of visual visualization of his album it does a picture of his cat i don't remember uh something like that uh, <laughs> terrible story <laughs> terrible telling of that story venetian snares yeah i was gonna say venetian snares boards of canada apex twin they all meld into the same guy in my head um which isn't fair to any of them um good morning mel casting we are uh editing today we're doing a midstream edit yeah yeah 
it's a little fair. It's like somehow like their punishment for being the kinds of guys they are, even though I, I like all of those guys and wish I was any of those guys. Um, <laughs> but somehow cosmically, I'm like, you guys are all going to be lumped together in my head. Um, but uh, back to the matter at hand. Good to see you and all. <laughs> what are we here for if we are not here to categorize? I I can tell I'm losing steam. But we've done I think we've done good work just in this hour that we've pushed stuff around. I think I feel more confident just in general about the thing. I do think another layer up here. Okay, let's do that. Let's add the layer. Okay, what we're going to do, watch this. It's going to look a little messy for a sec, but uh, this is a good final project before not working anymore. Yeah, yeah, Venetian Snares is a really good name. I agree. Okay, if we move it like that, we hedge a little bit. We've earned the we've earned that space by moving everything down. Oh, we can earn even more. Watch this. So we're gonna select everything on the bottom layer. And we're gonna crunch it down a little. Uh, we're just gonna crunch down a little. Just gonna crunch it down. We just gotta crunch it down. And then check that out. We can move it down even more. This fixes some of our imbalance. I think eventually we'll have more lower tier. Oh, sorry, wrong layer. We will find more for the lower tier. I think it'll balance itself out. But in the meantime, it really helps to push everything down. Okay. And we can even increase the size of this middle layer. Man, I'm cruising. Sometimes you just get in the zone. I have not done meaningful work, f like for money, in nine months. <laughs> I wonder what it's going to feel like whenever I do. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to get a job really soon. I'm running out of unemployment uh, money. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'd like to think I'm using my brain when I do this. Okay, so we're gonna add in between sec the second and third layer, we're gonna add another one. I guess this is the first. Yeah, we moved it down, so it's all it's all weird. Okay. Yeah, I see. Okay. So what we're gonna do. Yeah, there's, yeah, I, <laughs> those job listings, the people they look for are from a pretty broad background because you learn those skills in a bunch of different, different fields, you know, and so it, yeah, there's an overlap and it depends, I guess, on the specific kind of like visuals you're making, like, and who they're for also, uh, it would seem from the job listings I've been idly looking at. Uh, but I don't know if I want to do this for a job. I don't know. I'm worried I'm going to hate that. Um, I love that. I don't know. Yeah. Old coffee is great to me. It's all coffee to me. I say that while I make really snobby coffee. Um, but I promise I drank really bad coffee for a really long time and loved it. 
Okay. All right. We we're well on our way. Okay. We're going to shrink this top one. <laughs> yeah, Stream Elements got you. Stream Elements is like, you're getting beamed up. You best start believing in coffee commands because you, you, we have one. All right, all right. Damn, this is a little tight of a squeeze, but we'll figure it out. And then this has to be a new color. Don't know, just don't know. Okay, for now, this will be good. We will figure it already. Yeah, I'm extremely beamed up. Uh, I'm not jittery, really. I feel like I'm flighty mentally, but, you know. Okay. What if I watch another movie? What would I even watch? I kind of wanted to watch Heat. I think what I wanted, I think one of my my other conclusions I made about uh, uh, Tenet is that if you want to watch a movie like that, I think Heat, I think it's closer to Heat than it is to Inception, and you should just watch Heat. Uh, that's terrible, Noel. That's awful. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that was good. We should... Just reminiscing. That was fun. That was an early one. That was on my laptop, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. That's a shame. No, what happened to it? What would have happened to it? Yeah, yeah. It. I, I remember at the time people were complaining about not having the time to watch it all at once, and I think it works well if you watch it in several chunks. Um, but I think it delivers. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, other than that, I thought it was worth my time. Um, yeah. yeah. What, what's a movie you like, Maiko? Did you like Heat? Have you seen Heat? Did you see Tenet? Have you like, did you like Tenet? <laughs> this guy's a mafia movie guy. Look at him. This guy likes mob stuff. Did you see Gotti? Maybe we should watch Gotti. We should, no, maybe we should read Gotti. That might be funny. Um. Okay. All right. I I don't see myself getting any more work done. Um. I don't even know. I I know nothing about Gotti other than that it looks really silly. Yeah. Yeah. But like we can't do it as a in an Italian voice. We just have to like read it. I don't know. Maybe not. I have no idea. There's no other accents we can do. I'm I'm barely comfortable with the Italian accent joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay all right what have we learned we added two layers we moved a bunch of stuff around we grouped things did we do the things on the to like does the to-do list i made did we just do it all i'm gonna leave it for now <laughs> feeling like the white guy <laughs> <clears throat> oh man i can't i i physically can't do an Irish accent. Um, okay. I'm proud of the work that I was able to do. I'm glad I streamed instead of went instead of going to bed. Uh, I hope I stay up. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open uh, Microsoft Paint and I'm going to just start writing off Cable 2 stuff uh, while it's on my mind. Oh no. I'm having a Hold tight. You might lose me. My computer just froze. Why is it doing that? There we go. <laughs> I 
I'm sure you have a, uh, I mean, definitely more developed than me, but like a pretty developed ear for, you know, like the different regional accents of the British Isles. Whereas I think someone like me hears with much less fidelity, the differences between someone from like, you know, the different sides of, uh, England. True, yeah. Word. <laughs> that sounds like a, I don't know, like, if the point of an accent is to butcher it in a funny way, like, see, that's the thing is, I would love to do a bad Irish accent, but I can't even, like, get it to sound like, like, you don't know what I'm doing when I do an Irish accent. Um, but... Yeah, running it through other dialects sounds like a th those are they're like effects pedals for it. Um, it's like putting a cool phaser on it, which you also do. Okay, I'm trying to add uh, paint. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, sure. I'll read anything you put in front of me. The Matrix, specifically, I just know so well. It's like one of the few scripts that I just know. That's sick, cursed. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on in in my in my voice box whenever I talk. I I can't sing. I can't. I don't know. I just have such little control. It feels like. Um, I don't know. I've always assumed that m other people have more control than me, and I don't know why I feel I feel that way. I have no evidence for that. Um, but uh, okay. Alright, I'm just trying to get thoughts out about the freaking channel. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, okay. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, no, I, yeah. Um, I definitely take for granted the fidelity with which I move through the world for sure. Um, yeah, just in awe of it. Um, the Superman cartoon from the nineties, he's a master mimic because he has absolute, that is incredible. <laughs> Writing Superman is just like a, just that over and over again, where it's like, what's the f funniest way you can take the human body to its extreme? What's the reason for why he can shoot lasers out of his eyes? Like, is there like a, like that does not strike to me as something I could ever do if I was the, the Ubermensch. Um, but that's just my understanding of superheroes being limited. Okay. All right. What are we going to put in this list? Oh, uh, well, something like photo. Th oh, so he gets his power from the sun, right? I think the like the Greeks thought that you s emitted light from your eyes, um. But yeah, that's silly. Does he take in x-rays? Is there is there some way that, like, because the full spectrum of uh, light is out there? I don't know. I don't know. Seems a little far-fetched to me. Okay. Okay, with coffee.sit... What other shows go on there? Um, yeah, we can do it. 
Uh, drive in T Village, R A. Uh, what are the other shows that happen kind of regularly? Oh, he's a, he he's ray tracing instead of laser vision. I could I sure. <laughs> um But do y'all agree that we could have these shows come out of the bug? I don't know. The bug is the thing in the corner that like the other stuff pulls up. Fantasy Flight, yeah. But, if, uh, I mean, yeah, totally. But if Fantasy Flight gets the... Oh, if we have a Fantasy Flight, that's fine. But, like... Yeah, Arby Party. Go. Weird. Okay. <clears throat> Microsoft Paint, not the best uh, word processor. Oh, here. Oh, Greg's show. Log on with Greg. Henry's show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Driving. Uh, we still gotta do driving, but is it? <laughs> yeah, it's on my mind. Okay, I'll leave a space so we can add more and then keep going. Uh, do driving. Set a time. Etc. 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 I guess we should <clears throat> work on the whole drive-in thing. Uh, another under the hat. This is just for me, but I'll talk about it with y'all. Matrix Italiano. Do it, maybe we'll keep that a secret. I don't know who's, it, I think it's just y'all watching, but. Uh, <laughs> and merch. Such as sticker pack, uh, let's do shirt, let's do T. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so. Is there anything not on this list that you want to throw on the list just to think about <laughs> before I log off? Maybe I'll work on the bug later. I'll, I'll at least send a message or like talk to Craig about what it takes to put new stuff in the bug. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I am going to save this, though. Cool. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, really productive stream, honestly, for... I mean, we l literally got zero added, but uh, it looks fundamentally different. I guess while I'm here, I'll color them differently. I... I never liked the monochrome look, so I want them to be different colors, and I just don't know how to. They should probably be different greens and earth tones, right? We're just gonna spam earth tones. Oh no, it's gonna fill the whole thing. This enormous image, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like sediment. 
I think that's kind of what we were going for. Hmm. So maybe it can be orange. I don't know. I th I'm, I'm going to have to find, maybe next time we'll find a good colorful image of sediment and then pull from each one. Okay. It's 1130. We did this for an hour and a half. Uh, thanks for listening. I hope you have a good rest of your day. We've got a lot of streams today, actually. We have two more, at least. We have t two more. We have Henry Lefebvre and Empty Jar coming up. Uh, I'll post about it. You guys are, you, you guys know the drill. <laughs> yeah, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful Friday. Uh, I have no idea what I'm about to do. Uh, probably gonna eat lunch. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You could say that the audience has become the streamer. That's you. She hates this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kitty. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> See ya. Oh, get me off of here. Oh, no. Is this why everything's been weird? Oh, no. Okay. 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 All right. Now it's now it's a problem for you. We're going to do coffee.sip twice as much. No or not. We we could not. This is like tenant. Um you picked the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. Okay. All right. <laughs> Goodbye.